Obviously, my hair is wet, and uh, you know, you see people with their hair wrapped up in a towel all the time. So, um, you could assume my hair is wet because of, oh, well, why is my hair wet? Well, if you don't know, then you could take some clues. You could say, oh, this looks like a bath towel. Maybe she was in the shower. Or maybe it was raining outside and she got wet out in the rain. If I had this towel, this kind of a towel around my head, you maybe would think more about um, I was on the beach or I went swimming in the lake or in a pool or I was out in the hot tub. Um, so you look at the context. I'm sitting here inside, but I could have come in from the outside or I could have come out of the bathroom. You know, when people approach reading uh, and studying the Bible, and they call it the historical critical method, and they they do like textual study and form study, and um, they do all the different studies of it. And and um, from time to time in these videos, we're going to talk about how something can be a useful tool, and it ends up being a weapon used as a weapon. You know, um, the interesting thing is is my example on my hair is wet. Um, and you have to try to piece it together to figure figure out because you weren't there. You don't know, is it from a shower, is it from the rain, is it from swimming, what is it? And you take little, you take little examples around you, you take little pieces of my context, you try to put it together to figure out what actually happened. And that's what happens when um, theologians and professors and pastors and seminaries study the Bible. And then they piece it together, and then then they go to the people in the pews in the church, and they say, well, for the following reasons, Jesus didn't say this because of in the context this could happen. Or Paul obviously didn't write this, and we're going to get into that in another video about how they discern the writing, because, and then they wonder why people no longer want to go to Bible studies, because they go to a Bible study to study the Bible, and they hear all about everybody's theories on how it was written, probably in this context because we see this happening. When in fact, if you weren't there, um, wouldn't it be better to trust that if this is the Word of God and has authority, it's a source of norm uh, over faith and life, wouldn't it be better um, to say, sure, you can put all those studies out there, but in the end, don't try to convince people of something that's your opinion or you just kind of thought it up trying to take clues from the environment around. It's God's Word. It's a gift for you. And uh, He'll help you believe that.